Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can do a picture lookup in Excel. So here I've got a list of company names and their corresponding logos. And to do a, a lookup using pictures, what I'm going to do is assign a named range to each one of these pictures. So you can ins insert these images any way you want. The one thing you want to make sure is they fit within a cell. So that's why I've got these uh, cells a bit, uh, a bit wide just to make sure that they accommodate the, the full, full image. So for each one of these cells, I'm going to create a named range for, for Apple. I'm just going to name it Apple. And the key thing is to make sure that these names correspond to the names here. And so for Google, I'm going to type in Google for Microsoft. Microsoft. And the key thing to remember is with named ranges, you can't have spaces. In this example, all of my names have have no spaces, but if they did, I could use something like maybe an underscore or just join them together just for the sake of making them work as, as named ranges. So now each one of these cells, you can see contains an image and they're all named ranges. One other thing I'm gonna also do is create a named range for all of these options. So I'm just gonna list companies. And the reason I'm doing this is because I wanna I want to have a drop down so that you know you make a selection it's one of these options, and then it can extract the image um, based on that because this name is going to match up this named range, this this name right here. Google is going to match this named range, and so on and so forth. So now that I've got my named ranges set up, I'm going to move over to sheet one. So I've got a space here for the drop down. This is going to be in yellow, and I made a big space here because again the logo is going to be pretty big. So I want to make sure that I've got enough room to to accommodate. So the first thing I'm going to do now is create that name that uh, drop down here. So I go under data, and then data validation. I'm going to select the option for a list, and just set this equal to companies. And now what I can do is select any one of these options that I had in there, and then it's going to populate this logo. One thing I need to do is copy one of these logos over, put them in here, and it doesn't matter, you know, if they if they take up the whole space or not, or if you you know you can resize them however you want. Um, the key thing here is I just have some sort of an image as a placeholder. Okay, so. I'm getting pretty close here. The main thing I need to do, so I'm gonna select one of these values here, Apple. Right now it's not gonna update because if I just change this, there's nothing linked here. Um, I'm gonna create one more named range and this one, I'm gonna to go to the formulas tab and click on name manager. And these are the ones I've already got set up. I'm gonna create a new one and I'm just gonna call this uh, company selected and I'm gonna use the indirect function, indirect reference this value. And what the indirect function does is it's basically saying, okay, look at the value in cell H8, which is, which is this cell. And then it's going to use that reference to pull in the image. So I'm gonna hit okay. And now I've got my named range and you can see it's referencing Microsoft because it's using that indirect function to say look at the value in sheet one cell H8 which has Microsoft right so it's it's linking to that to that correct location so the last thing I need to do to make this work is click on this image here and set this equal to company selected hit enter and there we go now it's got Microsoft selected I can select Apple and it will change Google and so on. And so I can expand this if I want a larger image. So it doesn't matter if the image that I'm using is, is small or not, I can I can make this one larger. And I can cycle through all these different ones on here. So you can see now my lookup is complete. Um, the one thing I'll show you that may you may come across is, let's say I didn't leave enough space and you know th these this column A is, is really narrow. Now when I go back in here, you'll notice it's picking up some of that some of that text. Like if I go to, actually Google is fine. Microsoft, you can see we've got the OF in there. So you, you've you got to be careful with what um, goes into that to that cell because you can see that if I select a cell that has Microsoft in it, you can see it's picking up this OFT. So you want to make sure you've 
size this out appropriately so that way what's in this cell is not picking up any any text or anything from another cell because it's almost like you're taking a picture of what's in that cell so now that i've adjusted that you'll see now that that extra text drops off so now i go back to my my lookup and everything looks fine so you can add this for uh, set this up for as many images as you want all you really need to do is just continue adding onto here and again the main things to remember is you know you want to set uh, these names equal to these named ranges and again you don't want to put any spaces in there just to make sure that you can create a named range and then once you've got that then it's just a matter of um, updating this this range as well that uh, that ha had the list of all those all those company names for that drop then and once you've got that you know you can easily cycle through and have that uh, image look up and as you can see it doesn't matter if it's on the same sheet or not it'll work on a separate one so that's how to do a picture lookup in excel thanks for watching